the applied immunology uh, program was developed because we got feedback from undergraduate students who have told us that um, a thesis-based program is, is not really what they're looking for, but they want some advanced um, experience doing immunology research. For those of you not familiar with immunology, this is the study of the immune system. Um, and uh, this uh, program covers a wide array of immunology uh, topics, such as transplantation, cancer immunology, autoimmunity, et cetera. And so students came to us and we did a big survey of the undergraduates and they said, uh, they told us that they wanted a, a program with a very defined length that had more coursework and that had a, a very practical coursework that could prepare them for the job market or wor for whatever is next. Um, and so we formed this program and, and there is a major research component, however it's not necessarily a hypothesis driven project which you would normally have in a research oriented masters, rather this could be um, a project that's around assay development and optimization um, and this is really towards honing your skills to prepare you better for the job market. And what we find typically, we've run this program now for a couple of years, we find that students who come into this program are doing one of three things. Afterwards, they typically are going into um, industry and that can also include um, consulting and regulatory and all sorts of different jobs and we have um, an on-site uh, career consultant, Dr. Nana Lee, to help with that. We also have some students who come to this um, knowing that they want to do a professional program after, but they want a little bit more research before they do that. So we've had students go on to med school, for example. And uh, lastly, we've had students who've done our program and said, wow, I actually really love research and I, I really want to pose a hypothesis. So then they apply for our PhD program. One of the beauties of this program uh, from a research standpoint of view is it's actually a fixed length, unlike our masters in research um, immunology. Um, so it's 20 months. Um, unless you have some um, undergraduate coursework that qualifies you for advanced standing, in which case uh, the program takes 16 months. And this is the timeline here. Um, you take a number of core courses in the first year. Um, these are the courses that if you were an advanced standing student, you might already have or have an equivalent. And then in the second year, you take these courses, but your research really goes throughout the entire period um, in terms of uh, developing a capstone project. At the very end, uh, we have an optional practical placement, uh, but we highly encourage students to do this. We've had students do placements in various um, local companies, um, in um, nonprofit organizations, and other uh, venues. And you can please, if you'd like, you can look in our website. We have some um, uh, examples of what students have done afterwards. Um, there is a catch. What is different from our thesis-based masters compared to the applied masters is that these are not a fully. This is not a, a fully stipended program. Um, there is a small stipend for the first summer um, in order to cover your tuition or, more, or, or uh, a large part of your tuition, and then the practical uh, placements afterwards um, will will provide you with some uh, money to recoup um, as well. So we would argue that students here are spending a defined period of time in a program and are therefore in the job market a little more quickly, and so we think that this is a reasonable investment for some students who want to go in that direction. We ask that you have a four-year life sciences uh, bachelor's with at least a B plus in the final two years. Um, we, we look for coursework in immunology. If the coursework looks a little bit shaky, then um, we might ask you to do some remedial coursework to, to come up to speed so that you're successful in our um, classes once you get going. And we look for some lab experience. It doesn't have to be formal lab experience like a, an honors project. It could be a co-op placement or something else. Um, for the advanced standing option, I've kind of covered this already, that you should have some coursework equivalent to what I've uh, listed here. And um, in the advanced standing option, you need to have a supervisor already set up. So these are generally students from the University of Toronto who are enrolled in um, programs where they're already taking some immunology in the undergraduate level. Um, we obviously need your CV, a letter of intent. This is a great place um, to put down information. For example, let's say you took a longer period of time than normal to do your degree. Maybe you um, t took a year off to do something special. That's a good place to put that kind of information. We get asked that question a lot. Three letters of reference. We really need um, a letter of reference from someone who has observed your research, um, whether that be co-op research or an honors project or something like that, and obviously your transcripts. 
You can uh, find out more information on our website, and you can also contact um, myself or Dr. Kianazad, who couldn't be here today. He's talking to people at McGill about this program. Um, and um, um, just our door is open, so come and talk to us if you have questions. Thanks.